already know what time it is. It's your folk Marquise, and welcome to another episode of Plan Maturity. That's right. Welcome to another episode of Plan Maturity, where we are here to bring a message of maturity to millennials and their minors in the effort to create the perfect citizen. So check this out, man. Whew. People are a trip, man. Like, real talk. Like, people is a trip. It's one of them things, man, because it's like, I know myself, I do what I do for the people, but ultimately I do it for my in my service to God, you know what I'm saying, my service to y'all, but it's like, you do it for the people, but then it's like you can't do it for the people. It's like you do it for the people because you want to see people win, you want to see people uh, people's lives change, you want to see people succeed, you want to see people grow, you want to see people live out their dreams, all these type of things. You know, as a minister, I want to see people get healed. I want to see the people come to God, come to the Lord. You know, uh, young people, I want to see them grow. I, I want to see people win, but it's like, people are people, man. I always tell them, my children, people are people. I tell others, people are people. So the title of this message is, first they love you, then they hate you. And this one for Shakar, man. Shakar Richardson, man. I still salute you, Queen. Like, I got love for you, got respect for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. And it's one of them things, man. It's like, okay, she won, you know, when she won the prequels or whatever, she was smoking everybody. She was super fast. And, you know, well, she might have let her win, get to her head a little bit. It's one of them things. It's one of them things. It's like you gain a level of humility, and some people just big headed. Some people just big headed. I ain't really get that from her. It's like, you know, when you go through some stuff and you overcome stuff, like you you got this, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I won. Like, I did that thing. Like, represent H-Town. Like, you know, mom put on foot. It, it be one of them things. Because when you coming through the struggle, it creates something in you. It creates this tenacity, this this ferocity, a level of, of, of pride. You know what I'm saying? Especially for blacks, because we've suffered so much throughout history. So when you got a young girl, <laughs> the bugs out here biting. When you got a young girl coming from where she come from, coming through the struggle, and you got a chance to make it to the Olympics, like real talk, the Olympics. Oh man, like I get it. So it's like she did her thing, boom, they like shot it super fast, she a beast, woo de woo, bam. All right, she pissed hot. Everybody coming for her head. Don't get it twisted, y'all. already know. Go check out some of my videos a few weeks back. I was like, sis, could have made a better choice. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know, weed is legal in certain places and, you know, all this and all that. But it's like, if this organization got these rules for the, uh, for the level and magnitude that it is and what it's going to do for yourself, your family, your legacy, our people need to be clean, should have been clean, so forth and so on. Now, granted, I can't lie and tell you that I researched what some of the other people were saying. Oh, well, this white boy was doing this or this white girl was doing that. I, I don't have that knowledge to speak on that. But as a person in America, I already know how it goes. Them folks get away with a lot of stuff <laughs> that we get charged for, which is wrong. It is unjust. And I ain't got no respect or love for that. And that's something that God gonna have to deal with. And of course, we keep making noise about it and things begin to change, praise God. But the thing about this, John, is like, first they love you, then they hate you. It's like, man, shawty plays knife. Then everybody clowning her, everybody joking her, roasting her, making YouTube videos. Y'all know my head on the swivel, so you see me looking a little bit. You know, I still gotta pay attention to where I'm at. But it's like, dag, shout it like, she plays knife. And, you know, I watched the video. She cussed on Al, okay. But she cussed on Al because she know people. And she was right. So that was that anger. She was trying to be professional. But you got to realize, everybody don't have tactfulness. So, you know, the reality is, I think she did good for who she is and what she's going through. This political correct stuff, 
I mean, real talk, real talk, real life is real. There is a time and place for everything. I totally get that. But you got a situation where she was doing, when she was doing her thing, everybody was singing her praises. She made her mistake. It wasn't a wise choice. It is what it is. Everybody had something to say. Then she come back, get a chance to race and place knife. What did you, what, what, what did Joseph for? That's why I, I was talking to my wife earlier. I'm like, babe, it's like I gotta pray, man, because you know I can't. I'm a man of God, so it's like I, I love people, but sometimes it make you people make you really dislike them and borderline. You know what I'm saying? Like, err, because people, man. This girl got up here, did her thing, and she placed ninth. Y'all making memes and YouTube videos and joking her and roasting her and all that type of stuff. Man. So I just want to share this with you because I know I'm a little redundant. Do what you do for you first, for your family that's loving you, supporting you, and counting on you to win and bring that bread home. And do it to build your legacy and for those that support you to the degree that they do. But truly, do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Because people are going to always be people. For those that know the scriptures and know about Bible stories, it's that story like about Jesus. First they were like, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Lord. They laying the, the palm leaves down and all that. He coming through on the donkey and they like, oh, this is our God. Oh, this is our Lord. Oh, he the king, Hosanna, Hosanna. Man, a little bit after that, them same people was like crucify, hey, kill him. Kill him. It's like, whoa. What's happening? What's all that for? First y'all was loving me, then they hate you, so it's your folk, Marquise, man. Focus on you. Focus on your family and do great. Whatever the end goal is in the mission, focus on that. Be the best person that you can be and guard your heart. Because I tell my children like this. If you're doing good, people got something to say. If you're doing bad, people got something to say. Use a coward, people got something to say. Use a gangster, people got something to say. You dirt poor, people got something to say. You very well off and rich, people got something to say. People gonna always have something to say. So be great, do good, be good, live unto God, do what you was called to do, and focus on the mission. Focus on the mission. That's why I was telling people for many years as a minister, hey, the ministry God gave me, you know, the church or whatever, that's ministry. That's what I do. I serve God. I preach. I teach whatever I need to do. That's what I do for that. But business is business. So if you see me riding in a, a, a nice Mercedes or you see me with a nice watch or nice clothes and all that, one, that's not my ultimate aim and mission anyway. I do like nice things. I've liked, I've liked and enjoyed nice things since I was a child. You see the frames, I wear the nice frames. You know, I got some J's on today, matching with the shirt. You know what I'm saying? I like to look nice. I thank God for the opportunity. But I know, I know personally, it's more to life than these things. It really is. So don't get it twisted. But what I say is, you see how when people preach and teach and people got churches, People come for them real quick. Oh, you taking the money from the people? Whoop -de -whoop. I was one of the people where I was like, hey, man, because I've been in churches where they was doing a whole lot of asking for a whole lot of stuff, and you see them living a certain lifestyle, like where does the money go? I get that. I totally get that. But I've, I've made it known for years, hey, don't even come to me with that. Miss me with all that. I'm an empowerment speaker. That's a very lucrative business. I'm an author of books. That's a very lucrative, well, that can be very lucrative. I got plan maturity, so there will be virtual education and, and journals and books and growth things that come from this. 
I have the brand Lord Save My City, and we'll have some other endeavors that we have. My family and I will be very well taken care of by the business opportunities that we have, as well as providing jobs for other individuals. And we're going to be giving, we're going to be building, we're going to be doing all that. So what you see going on with the church and the ministry, and what you see, how you see we live, two different things. I put that out there, but when the time come, and my bag get bigger, and they see somebody somewhere going to be like, oh, you know, he's supposed to be a pastor. Why he so fresh? He supposed to be this. Why he so clean? Why he got that car? Why his wife look like that? Why they driving that? Why they at that hotel? Why? Hey, man, y'all forgive me. These mosquitoes is tearing me up out here. You already know what time it is. It's your folk Marquise. People going to be people. So be the best you that you can be. Go be great. You already know what time it is. Click the link below for those that want to become published authors. You can click the link below and you can get the checklist. But if you really want to go ahead and get it done, click the link below, order that Rider Flight ebook. It'll put you in the perfect position to become a published author. Also, the book, Overstanding. You can get that, but if you click that link below down there, you'll see that you can get the t-shirt, think different, live different. You get a free copy of the book, Overstanding, with it. People is really loving this book. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have written that and the lives that's going to be changed and impacted by it. So help me help our people by getting that book out there, getting it in people's hands, reading it, doing a review on it, and sharing. And of course, you already know you can get that Lord Save My City clothing for a culture, clothing for the soul. That link is also below. I appreciate y'all. We got so much more coming. I got something special coming for y'all. Probably like in September, uh, a new plan maturity. We're still going to be doing these Mondays, but I got a special, special plan maturity that I've been holding in the cut that I'm about to release. I think you're going to really, really find that uh, interesting, impactful, and exciting. So it's about that time. You know what it is, man. You think different, you're going to live different. Any questions? Y'all bless.